Hello people that and how's it doing? For me to even be wasting my time making this video to talk about these brats and I'm going to use the word brats I already tried to record this video a few minutes ago and I went ballistic in this video in the last video I'm not even going to upload it because I went ballistic and I'm going to go ballistic here Now these brats, listen to this The country's in an emergency No, people are scared People are scared All people are scared Communities are scared And these brats, these little assholes in other words I'm going to use the word. And forgive me for my language, but I'm not very happy at the moment. These little brats up in Scott's house in Monaghan, whoever these fools think they are, they take the wonder gaff. They went and damaged, you know, public property. They went, to go, they went into a school and damaged, you know, flower pots and tore up peat moss and made a mess of a gal, you know, of a school garden. And I use the words, like, can they not see? Can they not see what's happening around down? Can they not see what's happening there now? Are they that brain dead? And they're that stupid. They don't see the bigger picture. The girls in Monaghan County Council have enough things to be doing. They're running after a few brats who don't have any manners and who have no respect for anybody. We have enough to be doing. Councils are stressed. The local authorities, the guards are stressed. Running around trying to make sure every pub is closed. Making sure all this. And these clowns will be going and doing this at this moment in time when the country is facing huge challenges. You know, people might say this is not a big issue, but it is. It's the it's the it's the principle. It's the principle of damage. If, it's, if you own a power, if you own any property and somebody damages it, then they see they suffer the consequences. And I'm saying this to anybody who knows about this in in, in Scott's house. Don't be afraid of these little brats. Tell the guards. Tell the local authorities who these brats are. Because honest to God, I if I was the local authorities at the moment, time I am march them up the steps. I am march them so fast up them steps. And I throw them into a prison cell. And I let them lie down until the coma virus is over. Six or seven months, maybe eight months. I just let them lie in the cell. Wouldn't even give them a court try. Wouldn't give them the sympathy. Wouldn't give them the sympathy. If they're going to go and do this and waste scouts' time, waste local authorities' time, some county councils are even taking the time off. You know, three, one or two I know of Marlon took the time off to go and see what was the damage done. And they waste their time. And they waste their time on this situation. Because, you know, people are worried about the coronavirus. And they waste my time, above all, talking about this. Wait, like, honest to God, at the moment of time I should be telling the people of Ireland, you know, what's happening with the coronavirus. But you little brats, whoever done this, I have to spend my time giving out to you. Because that's, I'm just, you, you just won't listen to the guards, you just won't listen to the justice system. The justice system won't, will just look at you and let you out. But I'm giving you a lecture. And I'm giving you a good lecture. And that's something you just need. And you just need a good kicking too. That's what you just need. Because obviously these people are little delinquents who have nothing better to do with their life. They cause trouble, cause hassle, in a time when the country needs no hassle. The country's already in enough hassle. And if these people are that brain dead in the head, I don't know who these people are, or who they think they are, who, who they want to be. But my good Jesus Christ, have some goddamn respect for what's happening at the moment of time around Ireland, and have some respect for your local authorities, and have some respect for the emergency services who are working extremely hard, doing more than these young bucks ever did in their life, and will ever do in their life, if this is the path they're going to take, and damage public property, and damage, damage school property, and throw things out windows and everything like that, then they're, no, they're not, not going to make it any fun in this country. They might as well just go and jump the lake. Because honest to God, if this is what they're planning to do for the rest of their life, break stuff, damage things, that they don't belong to them. God, honest to God, honest to God, I, I you know, I... I don't know, these, the people, I blame the parents for this. The parents should be making sure, especially this time, schools are closed. Where are the parents? Where are the, obviously these people are young. They're obviously young. They're not, they're not, like, what would an old man be going around doing breaking flower pots and everything like that? But my God, and people might say I'm making a bigger show of this. It's the principle. It's the principle. Nobody wants anything to be damaged. And I leave a link to the article in the description. And if you know who done this, don't be afraid to tell who this person is. Don't be afraid. These people are trying to be bullies. Trying to make make out and be an emergency situation. Trying to spread more fear than there already is in Ireland. Don't let them. Don't let them. And I'm saying to the people who've done this, if you have any decency, if you have any kind of respect for your community or for yourself, hand a feckin' self in my good mans. And before before everybody goes managers, because my good Jesus Christ, to do it at this time, let alone any other time of the year, it's an outrage. It's an outrage to waste scouts' time for do on this thing that the girls are busy enough helping older people with things and doing this. The girls are doing that. And you're wasting girls' time, you're wasting the resources of the state on this little dinny dally around the place trying to find Jews. 
And you say, and I hope, I hope they throw the books at you. If they get you, hope to God. And I make sure, I make it my top priority. I go and speak to Marlon County. I even go and speak to the judges that's going to be having to charge your cages. If they, if they goes that far, I will speak to them. And I say to them, hand them your huge community service. And I say maybe 102 hours, maybe of community service a week might do the trick. Or maybe a month, maybe. Maybe that might get into your tick heads. That you know, what you're doing and what these people are doing. You know, we're not standing in this country and we'll never be tolerated. Never, ever, ever in this country will be tolerated that you go in and damage property belonging to anybody. No matter if it's the state, no matter if it's the pri private property, no matter if it's anybody. It will not be tolerated. The, w the country might be half closed down, but the rule of law still exists in this country. And if you just have a problem with that, the people who done this, get on a plane, go to some other country, go to Saudi Arabia. Maybe, the, and if you've done that in Saudi Arabia, you get your head cut off. And that'll be justice. That'll be justice. Teach us a lesson.